the construction is, you can really add the robot on the side with a side access door that's already built in from the factory. So very easy to integrate uh, a robot load from the side. Um, and also the control can easily be uh, connected and interface with uh, the branded robot of your choice. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to MTD CNC. I'm here with my buddy Joe and we are talking Exile Machines. So this is the premiere of this three axis MC series machine, correct? Yes, that's right. You know, uh, the Axile machine is uh, known for the high speed, high performance five axis machine. But uh, as you all know, when uh, you do five axis uh, application, very often you need to prep your first side. Uh, so this is why we want to make sure we bring this uh, affordable line of uh, three axis machine uh, to complement our five axis products. Yeah, so that's kind of the reason for the new series is just a complimentary product. And, and I know you guys like to work hand in hand with the education of your customers as well. And maybe this is a better starting point for some people that don't want to just jump right into five axis. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's sometimes, you know, you, you know, we use a, a high nine control for a lot of the five axis that we manufacture. So sometimes for a shop, you know, that has uh, new employees or uh, maybe somebody that's new in the trade that uh, may not know the high nine control. And you know, start a new employee right off the bat on the five axis might be a little bit of a, uh, a steeper uh, ladder to, to climb. But so you know, going with a three axis machine with the Hein Hein six twenty control allows them to really get familiar with control, and then, and then the transition to a five axis after that is much easier. So yes, in, in a sense, that's uh, that's a good approach to do as well. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Kind of you know, don't just throw them right into the deep end, right? Give them a chance to learn how to swim first. That's right. Fantastic. So um, we're standing in front of the MC2. How many series are in this machine? Yeah, we have three model size. So we have a 30-20-20 machine, uh, the MC1. Uh, and then we have the MC2 here, which is a 42 uh, by 24 by 24 inches. And then we have a larger model as well. That's 63 inches uh, by 28 and a half, uh, 27 and a half in the Z axis. All right, so you just have a, a variety of, of work envelopes that also come with a different footprint as well, based upon the customer's need. That's right. So footprint's important. Obviously, we want to minimize the footprint that, you, that the VMC is using. Uh, so depending on the operation and what they need uh, for, for work envelope, um, this is why we have those three size. Um, additional to that, we also um, offer the machine with different controls. So we mentioned about hind hind control, but we also can go to the FANUC, uh, FANUC Zero control or the Mitsubishi control or the Siemens. So we are really trying to adapt to the customers, what they, they, they have on their shop floor, what uh, fits their operation. Nice, and you're probably able to adapt to these customers pretty easily with you know different size work envelopes, different size footprints, controls. Um, do you guys offer like training and support when a customer purchases the machine? Yeah, this is always included when it purchases a machine. So uh, through the, our distributorship uh, partners that we have throughout uh, Canada and US and Mexico, um, they will go to the training, but uh, the purpose of this facility here is also to train our, cust uh, our distributor and customers if needed uh, by, you know, having holding classrooms here uh, and teach those uh, specific controls. Nice. And I'm sure Windsor just being the, the die mold capital of the world. I mean, that's a very strategic location to put your technical center. Yes, for sure. Uh, and, and then, like I uh, mentioned, you know, through the last two days here, um, the, the, the resource and the pool of talent that's in, in the region here is uh, definitely a big part of, uh, of of setting up our operation right here. So when uh, you know when a customer purchases this machine, you know obviously they can get new operators, they can get training done, they can get people orientated with the machine tool. Uh, but what if they can't find those people? Is something like this pretty easy to integrate, like an automation cell with? Yeah. So five axis, you know, we have uh, some of the five axis that we have here that has integrated net automation already and ready for other type with cobots and so on. But even on the three axis, the, you know, the, the way the, the construction is, you can really add the robot on the side with a side access door that's already built in from the factory. So very easy to integrate uh, a robot load from the side. Um, and also the control can easily be uh, connected and interface with uh, the branded robot of your choice. That's really convenient that it comes with that side access. I know I've seen a lot of like the uh, retrofits you know, where they have to come in, the automation companies to come in and cut a hole on the side of your machine. That's a little scary. Yeah, <laughs> so we thought about that. The, the holes are already there. Uh, the side window are there. 
So it's just a matter of uh, taking the door off and then added with an auto door. Fantastic. So what are we looking at as far as like spindle speeds? What's your standard? What's your options? We have a very um, entry level one with a 10,000 belt spindle, but really that the customers are where they're heading towards. Uh, the, the, what we uh, uh, being requested by is really uh, more of a, either a direct drive spindle or an inline spindle. So in this case here, we have a 12,000 uh, inline spindle uh, also available in a 15,000 RPM. So we have a, a, a good range for this uh, category of machine. All right, so like 10,000 to 15,000 RPM, belt driven, or direct drive, depending on torque requirements. Yes. That's fantastic. Um, well, thanks, Joe. Thanks for showing us your machine. All right, no problem. Beautiful piece of equipment. So it was fantastic talking to you. Yeah, thanks for joining us.